street. You know how hard it is in this truth. You got to be running like a bandit. You yourself know. Come on, we're coming. We're running, we're running. Come on, we're coming. We ain't got a little bit of time. We're close to the end. Come on, come on. We're going all out. <laughs> For the king, we going all out. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Like I used to tell the troopers all the time. We'll sleep next month. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm glad you was patient to wait till I can get, you know, man, I can get some seconds to get in there and, come on, come on. and rap with you on that. Come on, come on. What are you? I, I, was, I was patient because I, I know, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, for me coming into the truth and what the truth have done for me, you know what I'm saying, and you holding on to the truth, like I, I knew it was very, uh, you know, essential and golden, you know, that I'd be patient, you know what I'm saying, because I, I already know what you about to drop, you know what I'm saying, oh, is, is, is well, heavy. You know what I mean? So I am I am mind waiting at all. Um, you know, the first thing, you know what I'm saying, I, I wanted to ask, you know what I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, would like to be in, in, informed on was, you know, how did the ISUBK, you know, get started? Mm. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is the, the foundation? How far back you want to go? I want to go all the way to the, to the, well, to the tippy top again. Well, you know, in slavery, they didn't allow us to read. Come on, come on. And the main book that we were trying to read was that Bible. Come on, come on. And they was constantly fighting us against reading that Bible in slavery because they knew, we knew it, that in that book was the answer to our troubles. We knew this was the book of the Lord. And we knew that our answers was in it, but didn't know how to read it. Come on, come on. Some songs about it. to this day, um, they don't admit that that song, Sweet Low Swing, Swing Low Sweet Chariot, yeah. is our song. We broke that. Right. They also didn't know, they also don't admit that that song, uh, Amazing Grace, right. that they sing all over the world, a thousand of them might sing it, right. is our song that we sang in slavery. Right. You know what I mean? That they stole from us. Right. Excuse me. No, sir, sir. So, in, so we, in fighting to get out of slavery and to get them and to wake up, we were scrapping to read this book. Now, when they when they emancipated us as slaves, we got free. We started to read this book, right. and as we started to read the Bible and study the Bible and move and migrate north, we started reading about these people and finding out that it was us. Mm. And if you go back in Harlem, back all the way back to the 1900s and before, mm. right after we got out of slavery, right. we started forming synagogues mm. like black you know, Israelite synagogue where we started, you know, learning the knowledge, learning the truth, right. waking up in the truth. Right. And so the, them slaves, an ex-slave that migrated north passed it on to the brothers that was in Harlem. Okay. The brothers that was in Harlem now got together, studied, built it up, and they start spreading. Okay. And as they were spreading it in Harlem, uh, the brother Abba Bibbins okay. was one of those brothers that came up through their ranks. And, and took what he had, got from them, and set up a school right on uh, Fifth Avenue. Okay. It's the same school that Chief Head Priest uh, Ari, uh, Yikwab and Ariya lived in for many years. Okay. Really, Yikwab lived there till his death. Okay. He, did, he, he stood right there while the school was built. Now, Abba Bibbins, if you don't know, was killed. Okay, okay standing up for this word. Mm. Was killed by Muslims. Right. Who, was, who was the, who detested hearing that we was the Israelites. Mm. But them brothers from slavery on, this had been this been a fight to get this record back to us since then. Right. Forget about back, I can go all the way back to Egypt if you really want to get it on. Right. All the way up to now, but just from there. Right. So after he was killed, Masha, Yaikwa, and Arya, the top three chief head priests right. who was in this school. The school fell apart, of course, because Bibbins was killed. Right. But these brothers knew they had to hold on to this truth. Right. They knew that they had, they couldn't let this go. This had gone all the way back to slavery. Right. You couldn't let that go. Right. So they came around the corner and rented out a small school at 1 West 125th Street. Mm. And we were set up. And they taught from, this was done in the 60s when Bibbins got killed. That was when Islam was heavy on the ride during the Malcolm X, Elijah Muhammad days, okay. when they had gotten big and popular with that. Okay. The Israelites was out teaching. We were out all over. Right. UPK was out there. 
but okay. you 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 didn't know that much about it, and it was so strange okay. to our people. Right. That. Go ahead. So I, I, if I cuss you, so our business was killed by black Muslims. Yes. Okay. Not that by okay. us. Okay. Who, are, who who always kill us? Right. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Uh, and, and and you were saying um. Uh, so like the truth, the, the, the school and the truth was out even during the time when Malcolm X was yeah. so-called doing his thing. Yeah, yeah, they, they talked to Malcolm and them and all that. Right. Uh, uh, they had mosque, I think it was mosque, I forget what mosque it was, it was right across the street from us. Okay. Right next to, the, the, right next to what is known today as I think it's called the uh, Black National Theater. It's on uh, 1 East 125th Street, right across the street on 5th Avenue. That's where they were. We was right across the street on the other side. Mm. So it was Muslims over there. We were on, on, on both of us on 5th Avenue. We was on the east side. They, uh, they was, we was on the west side. They was on the east side. Right. And, uh, yeah, so it was black Muslims who, you know, detested what he was teaching on the street. Right. And killed him. Mm. We then came around the corner and Masha Ariad Yaikwa set up at One West, okay. 125th Street, greatest place on the face of this earth. You know the place of places, brother. If I could go back now, if I knew what I knew now, I'd, I'd take a piece of one of the walls with me. <laughs> right. I took it out of there. But anyway. Right. Now, during that time, Masha Ariad Yaikwa was teaching and carrying on the truth. And at the same time, they were working and, you know, teaching young brothers. Right. And they were working, you know, slaveries and all that. Right. And Chief Head Priest Ariel was in the construction at the time. Okay. And uh, he would be renovating them big buildings. And, uh, you know, they gut them all out. He'd walk the beams and fix them. Right. Well, he fell down a shaft. Mm. Three stories. Mm. A lot of people don't know this about Chief Head Priest Ariel. Broke both his legs. Nine. They took him to the hospital. The doctor said he ain't gonna never walk again. He's a paraplegic. We put him in a wheelchair. Right. Sent him home. But it was the Lord working. Right. Because it was time now to come up out of slavery. Three and a half days was up. It was now time for us to come out. This was in the late 60s. Right. Ariel went into studying for three years, day and night. He studied all the records of this truth. Mm. Went through every stitch of these records. And that's when the Lord came to Ariel and showed him the who the 12 tribes. Before all the archaeology that you see us bringing out, right. and all that history that you see us, that we done dug up in all these records, right. before any of this ever came out, right. this is why we know it's the truth. Right. Because before any, before anybody on the earth, listen to me good, including the white man, including the so-called Jew, before anybody taught it, who the 12 tribes were, the Lord gave it to the Israelite school of UPK. And we got them through that, that record, right? and that was it. The Lord showed us a whole bunch of stuff through these brothers. right? And they set all the records up, and they started teaching. right? And as they started teaching, uh, out, of the, all of, out of the young brothers that they was teaching, four brothers came up, spiritually strong. Which was Chief Head Priest Lahar, Chief Head Priest Yeshaya, okay. Chief Head Priest Shaw, and Chief Head Priest Kazak. They joined on with the three heads, and that became what was known as the Seven. Mm. The Seven now ran the school. Right. And from there, brother, it was on. <laughs> As we went on to teach, so they went from them 70s right. for about a decade teaching, teaching, teaching. And then in the 80s, I came in. Okay. 83, I started coming around. 84, I was fully in the body. Okay. And they needed us because we were, they, it was time now. The Lord was bringing up men who was going to lead this charge. Yes, sir. And that's how this life school, UBK, got born to this day. <laughs> Thank you.
glad you I'm glad you brought up brought up women. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. I know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna know. You know what I'm saying? From seeing, you know, the tapes. You black women been terrorists to black men in America, man. You know why? Because you black women are monsters. You are the evilest thing on the face of this earth. You are proud and you are dumb and you are ignorant and you destroy your very own children, man. You black women with your big damn mouth, you better damn terrorist to black men. And it's about time your mouth gets shut. And it's gonna happen every single brother at a time. Did I tell you they terrorists? Did I tell you they're terrorists? Then you better get your mother. Then you better get your mother there. Then you better get your mother. Your mother came to You cursing me out because you don't want a black man to be strong and tell you to shut your damn mouth. Right. And stuff like that. Um, yeah. What is the school stands and, and and how 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 true do you feel? You know, saying about our women because everybody got a misconception that we hate black women, Hispanic, Native American. We hate our sisters. Let me tell you something, man. I'm probably I'm probably the foremost lover of black women in the world. And why do I say that? Because a person that have a child and love their child, chastise and correct their child. Even the Lord said it, chastise with whom he love. Right. You got a child, I don't know no good parent that do not make sure their child do the right thing. Right. Do not correct their child when they wrong. Right. Do not give direction to their child to go to school, to be educated. Right. Do not protect their child with their life. Right. You know what I mean? Do not care for their child. And in this life school, UBK, that's what we do. Right. So what they interpret it as hate towards black women right. is more love and care for black women than, than anybody else in the earth. Right. You understand? I done got a reputation for hating black women because I love them so much. Right. And to love them is to tell them the truth, to cover up their funky behind when they out there in that street. Now I use the word funky yeah, just to illustrate the point of how wrong it is to make for our women to be susceptible to that. One out of every three black, Hispanic, and Native Indian women in America is molested as a child. Mm. Now, now, you tell me who love them more, me or, the, or their parents who are in the house with them when they get molested. Right. Or their friends and neighbors who know about it, hear about it, and don't say nothing. Right. Don't stop the molester from getting to them. Right. So who love them more? Right. Who love them more when they getting raped, stabbed up? Now they becoming criminals, right. lesbians. Who love them more, me or their friends who tell them go on and go have sex with that woman? Right. Or come on and get high. Right. You know what I mean? Or come on and get on this crack. Right. Or, or 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 the brother that sleep with them and throw them away. Who love them more? Right. So yeah, I'm giving the reputation, and this like school UBK giving the reputation as hating black women when really. We the ones that love black. You can't tell black women in America anything wrong. Right. Matter of fact, you can't even tell them anything that ain't nice and wonderful to us. <laughs> you can't be neutral. Right, <laughs> Let's right. know negative. You right. got you got to be it got to be all about how wonderful and beautiful they are. Right. You don't come out like that. You they you practically charged with a crime. And this is the power that you use to try to shut black men's mouth. When they tell you behind, do what you see going on right here is born in a thousand houses in Philadelphia right now. Right now, it's a black man trying to straighten out his house. And can't straighten out his house because this woman picks up the phone and calls the police to destroy his house. <laughs> it's practically a crime in America. Right. When, when the Israelite school UBK, because we love women. And then once again, you shall know them by their fruits. Right. All you got to do is look at the women in this white school UBK. We have the best women on earth. Uh, we have the best women on the planet. Right. They come out of the world, become brand new. Right. Totally different person than they was in the world. I don't care what they was in the world. Right. When they come up in here, they like a brand new virgin. Right. Ain't nobody ever dealt with. Their whole world get wiped out of that evil. Right. And they become brand new. Right. Now, who love them more? The man that, that make them brand new and make them put away all their sin right. or the man that encourage them to, to do their sins because they so right and good and uh, they should they deserve to have all the fun and, and, and madness that go on that destroy their whole life. Right. You know what I mean? Well, how many black women going to see their kids in jail? 
in prison. Right. I mean, them women walking up and down these streets looking horrible, like, looking like a tornado and ran over there right. because of the hell that people done put them through. Right. So yeah, this is like school UBK. We love black women. Right. But real love is handled not like the white man say. Right. White man think teach you that the real love for a black woman is to lie to her. Right. And that is not the spirit the Lord wants. Lord right. want us to straighten her out. Right. You know what I mean? And the other thing is, who loves the black woman more? Us who get on her ass or the brother who say he gonna go get a white girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That like, he he gonna throw her away and go get a cracker, especially when he get a coming. Right. When meanwhile that ain't love for her. Right. But she'll swear he loved black women. Right. And General Johanna don't. Right. General Johanna love black women. You going to get your shit together in here. Uh, uh, Excuse my friend. You ain't gonna be, you gonna you gonna give a, and we act like you can't stop black women from home right. and, and getting naked and having a loud mouth right. and being selfish. Right. You understand? Hey, we act like that's an impossible, insurmountable mountain that can't be done. That's a damn lie. Right. That can be done. You can right. come right up in here and be brand new. Right. And it happens all the time. And right. because of it. We get beautiful women, so the truth is we love these women, right. really love them, right. you know what I mean? right. regardless of what anybody else say or think out there. Right. And let me tell you, sure enough, after time, them women come around and they start to realize, dang, right. they make enough mistakes out there. Right. Enough niggas throw you away after a hamburger. <laughs> you start saying to yourself, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Right. Then you realize that I really do love them, love them to death. Don't want to see. And listen, the Lord, the, the, let me tell you something, man. The women of these 12 tribes now, is the baddest women on earth. Right. White man made a movie called Pretty Woman and put a mouse up in the movie. Mm. That broad looked like she, you could hand her a piece of cheese. Right. That old devil that they had in there. Our women is beautiful. They come out the ghetto out eating bad food and drinking bad water and be bad like you can't even explain. <laughs> right. You understand? Be super bad with style and flavor, and for them to be wasted in this place is such a shame. But all that brothers could do, all that brothers could gain from having a virtuous woman to see he so do what he do to them. Man, I'm, I ain't yelling hard enough. Tell you the truth, I ain't chastising black women hard enough. I ain't checking them hard enough to get them out of the things they into. You see them lead in the debate with other women. They gonna get them naked and twirl them on the stage. <laughs> you understand? Know like that, that, that's the that's the power that the world will make her a home and use the power of everybody want her to 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 get gain. She's simple and think this is right. You know what I mean? Cause she up on the stage and being seen when she don't know she being used and wasted and destroyed. And that ain't what the Lord. That ain't love. You don't love that woman. Yeah, any man that take your want his woman, put up on a stage for 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 a thousand men to gawk at her half naked body, and then you gonna tell me you love her? You don't love that woman, man. Losing that woman. Right. You know what I mean? And you ain't teaching her to love herself. She sure don't love herself. Right. Because if she loved herself, she sure wouldn't want to give herself or even be exposed to the idea of a thousand men want. You know what I mean? Right. That ain't love. I, that's not how we love our women. Maybe them heathen do. Right. That ain't what the Lord wants. Right. So yes, yeah, so I stand on women, black women, Hispanic women, Native Indian women. Right. We love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a black man to tell you that you black women gonna stop being nasty whores in America. You gonna stop spreading AIDS in Washington D.C. Right. Right. You gonna learn to cover up your fucking behinds in America. I want you to stay strong in the spirit of the Lord. Hey, listen, if you like this tape, hit the like button and share it, man. Hit the share button. Everybody share it to their own personal Facebook accounts. Share this video, man, to wake up brothers and sisters all over this earth. Hit the like button. Check me out Monday night. I'm live every Monday night. I bring the heavy hitters in. We do it up live right on this same channel. I'll see you then, Israel. Y'all take care. Shalom.